What's up everyone? Movie Mania Nick here. I know I'm a little late, but actually last week I surpassed 600 on my YouTube channel. So this is going to be a thank you video to everyone out there that watches, likes, and shares. Um, I really do appreciate everybody out there. It, it, it really is amazing how far I have come in about, what, almost almost two years now, I guess. A little over two years. The things I've done, the things I've seen, the things I have accomplished while vlogging, it just amazes me. Because when I was younger, I, 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 was, I was very, very shy. I'm still shy at this point in my life, but I'm more comfortable with people, more outgoing than I used to be. But anyway, I want to, like I said, thank you to everybody out there. And here's some special people that I watch. And thank you guys that I try to get to everybody that I can watch and see. But it is very difficult because there is a lot of people. And I do want to apologize that there are a lot more people that I do watch and that are not in, in this video. So here it is. Enjoy. Welcome, everyone. In 1985, I saw for the first time what would become my all-time favorite movie. Since then, I've seen the movie over 1,000 times and I've actually gotten a Back to the Future tattoo on my leg. Come along with me and Justin from BTTFTour.com as we go to the filming locations from Back to the Future, part one. Ba, 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 ba. Join me, shall you? plutonium back in the plutonium case see these three poles tall pole small pole and a taller pole right there would be the sign it really is a good thing that you're wearing your late 80s early 90s garb because tonight we're going to be saved by the max i'm so excited this is a saved by the bell themed pop-up restaurant that is themed after the Max restaurant from Saved by the Bell. Hey all, it's Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north, more specifically Farmington Hills, Michigan. Even more specifically than that, I'm in front of Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. Instead of a sea hero. But my question is, is there a hero in Orlando? I'm gonna find this out and maybe I'll debunk it. I really don't know where I'm going with this, y'all, but I'm going somewhere, you know what I'm saying? That's that's they have a camel and geese and Oh my gosh, welcome to Jurassic Park. You don't spit, do you? Whoa. New day, new vlog. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel today, dudes. We are in New York. Now, we're in a brand new city. As you guys know, we live in Washington, but we're here for a special GTA 5 Rockstar Gaming event that's happening tomorrow. But by the time you guys see this vlog, then the, it'll, be, it'll be already over. But to our visit here, thank you for joining me on this trip to Hopewell Rocks on the Bay of Fundy to see the amazing low tide and walk on the surface of the ocean with us. Pretty cool, right guys? Hey, oh boy, well, well, totally hippie ruby, totally hippie ruby in your neck of the woods. It's the ranger dog in there just now. 
now getting back into Oklahoma City. out this morning walking Chewy or trying to walk him. It's like every squirrel in the neighborhood decided to be in our yard today. And he's going absolutely crazy, so I brought him to this. We were just getting ready to leave because it looks like it's going to rain, but you know I got to take you in here. Hello, old friend. You want to see me go Super Saiyan? <laughs> Darth Maul, full-size figure. How you doing, buddy? Ever since you got cut in half, you've not been having a good good go of things, have you? And then we got episode four. This is the cantina on Tatooine. Obi-Wan and Luke and C-3PO and r 2 2 back there. Han Solo's in there somewhere. It's gotta be. Oh, I see Chewbacca. I see Chewbacca there. And here's the biggest rust bucket in the galaxy. The Millennium Falcon. Or as George Lucas called it, the flying hamburger. There it goes. Same favorite movie ever. The same. Man started it. Al Copeland. Al Copeland's first chicken place was called Chicken on the Run, which he opened in 1972 because he wanted to compete with Kentucky Fried Chicken with their Southern Fried Chicken flavor. In Araby, Louisiana, just outside of New Orleans, somewhere over in that patch of stores, he opened his chicken on the run. But that didn't last very long because his southern fried chicken recipe didn't go over too well. He realized people wanted spicy chicken. That's when he closed the place and came across the street to this area to reopen, no longer using the name chicken on the run. So he changed the name and he opened up the store right here, changed the recipe, and the rest is history. That's a beautiful Camaro there. I'm at 607. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hate it when the notifications come through when I'm recording a video. My notification. There's one person that knows who that is. see the drone going up you can see the camera here Let's go up a little bit and go in front of us I'm gonna walk this way a little bit so everybody can see what's going on with the drone there and oh that's a tire oops see I already messed up so the, the goal here is you only have two minutes so you really can't do it so good actual Toys R Us store. I know that they're still in operation in Canada, Europe, and Asia, but honestly, I don't think I'll be in any of those countries anytime soon. So this behind me might be the last time I see a Toys R Us store. Way funnier, and it was just a blast and a breath of fresh air after the dramatic heartbreak and epicness of Infinity War. Best part are the three main performances, Paul Rudd back as Scott Lane and Ant-Man, Paul Rudd is even more funnier in this movie. I mean, just spinning, chilling on the roof here at Sunshine Dairy. We got 
get the whole milk. We got the culture cutter milk. We got the one percent, and of course my favorite chocolate milk. So yeah, it's it's pretty bad that this place um, um, has to close. Um, What's up, YouTube? My name is Prince Charming Dev, and I live at the most magical place on Earth, Disney World. I'm known for all my awesome character interactions and my daily life here at Disney. I started in the Disney College program as I make helpful videos for those of you who are planning on doing the program. I also do live streams every week from inside the parks. You can also catch me every now and then at Disneyland. Holy cow, Mission Impossible Fallout is just this great action movie. Everything in the movie flows so easily and well between one another. There's a lot of twists and turns, and honestly, it's just a fun time at the movies. For example, the action set pieces in this film are out of control. They're awesome. Like Tom Cruise doing car chases, motorcycle chases, jumping out of an airplane at 20... I like my pet to shake the master. We also started a thing on the Disney liners, and it's can you close all four parks in one day? Do you think we can do it? Do you think anyone can do it? If we do it, it's called the Blues Close. Got it? We'll see. I am waiting. In the First thing you see when you turn on the road is this giant plane on top of a sign that says Battleship Memorial. There's a lot going on here at Battleship Park, and I'm very excited to be able to tour it all today. I'm using yellow cornmeal, some of the equal flour and cornmeal mixture. And then I'm going to, I'm going to make sure it's evenly distributed. And I'm going to get ready to pop it in the oven. About 20 minutes. It doesn't take very long at all. And just kind of watch it. It could take up to 25 minutes, but I took it at about 20 minutes to see if it's done. And once the tester comes out clean, you can use a knife or a peg tester. You know it's ready. And I'm just going to pull it and we'll be. Wait, before we go, before we go, I do want to show you our latest Star Wars toys. We got some of the Black Collection, uh, Black Series on Force Friday 2. And our big Porg back here. Let's get the Porg out. I hope they have a dancing number in the new Star Wars film, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing like the new kids dance or something. Look at it. Who's new kids? Only thing, almost something old people know about. <laughs> Welcome to Movie Night Talks. I am Gable, the 79 year host, and I hope you would join me with a video about movies, upcoming movies coming soon. And I'll try not to make this video too long because I know that your time valuable so I don't think you want to sit through a 20 minute uh, video so let's get into what's coming soon in theaters good morning everybody Yehuda here from Orem Utah wait wait, 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 wait. What, what? what 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 hey wait a minute wait uh, who are you <laughs> okay guys this is one of my vlogging crew members what's up everybody sorry I'm in my work outfit <laughs> <laughs> and I just did a quick pit stop to come see my buddy Chris Unfortunately, I can't meet his lovely wife or beautiful... Alright guys, that'll do it. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Once again, thank you so much for the support, for watching, for sharing, and smashing that like button as always. Um, the people I've shown, go check out their channels. They're very good people. They have some interesting and very good content out there. Check them out. And as always, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes. Thank you, guys.